Hello there, everybody. My name is Jerry Joe, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, I got 600G, and that's exactly how much I need for the mystery key. Braddy, we're gonna be rich. Uh, yeah, who cares? Alright, now I think I know where it goes. I think it goes to the house next to Napstablook's house. So off we go! Okay. Oh, we're here. Alright. Uh, I guess I have to use it? Use the mysterious key. The red house's door was unlocked. Yes! Let me in. Seriously. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, whose room is this? What the hell? Okay. Dear diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad without her sister to speak for. She's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blukey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Dearer diary. <laughs> I like to buy a new diary for every time I make entries. I love to collect dry diaries. Dryeries. Yep. Our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. <laughs> that just leaves Blukey and I. God damn it, that's the person I beat up. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey, you know I never leave you behind. And besides, I never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. So this is Naps Blukey's sister then. Uh, my darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. <laughs> my diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Good. She surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey, my dreams can't wait for anyone? So that's Metaton? Metaton is Naps the Bluke's sister? What? Is that what I just got from that? I need to talk to Naps the Bluke. Hey, uh, I'm gonna keep working on that XC. Okay, never mind. I'll see you later, man. Good talking. I guess Metaton is Naps the Bluke's sister, apparently, maybe. I don't know, that, that seems really weird to me, though. Maybe it was a brother? I don't know what brother calls their brother Blukey. I mean, maybe they were older. Okay, wrong way. I'm just gonna go up. Let's just do it. Let's just go. What floor? Oh, okay, it chooses automatically, I guess. So. Yeah. How you like that Undertale? There's no music in this elevator. It's kind of weird. Oh, hey, we're finally here. That was a little long. Oh, where the hell am I? <laughs> castle elevator. Oh, so I'm in the castle. Which means I still have a little to go. Probably. Oh, this is kind of messing with my head. <laughs> okay. Should I have taken that elevator back there? I feel like I have to make, make it up flights of the castle now. Which means that I still have a while to go, probably. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. What? No, wait, 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 what? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. What? You're in the garden? Isn't this the garden? You're not in the garden. You're a liar. Wait, this is Toriel's home, though. Why is everything so reminiscent and happy? Oh, hey, Froggit. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. You're telling me a story? He took the key and put on the phone's keychain. Wait, there's a note, there's a note. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. Is this like the... The opposite? No, this is... Maybe this is Toriel again? Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. No. No. No, this is a different this is a different human. Right? This is confusing me now. What oh, presents? There's a heart-shaped box locket inside. Will you take it? Yeah, sure. Let the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. I'll leave that. 
It's a family sized photograph. There's a lot of striped shirts in here. Wait a minute. I wear striped shirts. Well, not me specifically, but her, him, them, it. Oh, hi. Over time, Azrael, the human, became like siblings. Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay. So is this a story from before then? It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages says it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. So is Asgore's home? Wait, what? Then, one day, the human became very ill. Hmm. I don't like where that's going. Hi, Vegetoids. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Oh. That, I shouldn't have said that as happy as it sounded. <laughs> the next day... The next day... Dot dot dot. The human died. Why is this game so sad? Don't tell me sad things. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Okay. So wait, they had a human soul already? With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the human. <laughs> Okay, so tell me, what's the point of it all? Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Okay? It's definitely Toriel's house that we were just in. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. Did they kill him? They thought that he had killed the child. No! No! This is such good music, by the way. The dummies. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all, but he didn't. Oh, that's making me sad. Don't do this game. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Aww. That's sad. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Does that mean that he died? The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans have once again taken everything from us. Aww. This music! The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Aww. So that's what made them kind of angry at everyone. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go home, give us hope, and something else. I thought they all said the same thing. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Yeah? Cause then all my friends gonna come home. <laughs> You're going to be free. Yeah, but I'm a human. I mean, he has to kill me <laughs> for me to get home. It's down here. Oh, okay. Last corridor. Kind of looks like Zelda right here. That's Navi and that's an upside down, tri or that's a weird Triforce. It's kind of weird. <laughs> that definitely looks like Legend of Zelda. Oh. Sans? Sans? Is that Sans? Or is that, uh, Asriel? Which means Toriel must be the sibling? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. Okay. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. For every experience you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Oh. That, okay. 
a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Sans! But you, you never gained any love. I knew it was Sans! Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent and naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles of hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. The real love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. Fuck, that's heavy. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. <laughs> but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? No, don't think so. That's right. You have something called determination. A lot of it, by the way. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. Well, count on you, kid. Good luck. I love Sans. Okay, so I restarted. Someone told me about this. I restarted, and I came back to Sans, and he, he whispered a secret code word to me. And he said, if you come back here and tell me the secret code word, you must be a time traveler. So I'm going to come back one more time, and then we'll see what happens. This is going to be crazy. I don't know what happens, but someone just told me to do it. Because they've never seen it before, but they heard about it. And it's actually true, I guess. So I'll be back again. It's going to say the exact same stuff as it just did. So you finally made it. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What, a code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you say I'm a stupid doo-doo butt? Wow, I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Oh my god, I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. God damn it. I'll be back again. We're back again. <laughs> and I swear if he doesn't accept the secret secret code word, then I'm going to snap. I don't know what happens. I think maybe it unlocks his room or something, I was told. Oh man, that burp. Han, do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you? Just say, I'm the legendary fart master? <laughs> wow, that's uh, really childish. Why do you think that was a secret, secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word, which you just said. So I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. When you look, the key was already given, already on your keychain. What? So what's the truth? Here is Sans' room. You unlock the door and enter. Oh, what the fuck? It's only one straight line. I, I don't think I can walk another way. No? Am I hitting a wall? Uh. Okay. That doesn't sound good. How do I get back? Oh, God. What? What? Hey, Sans, have you seen my... Oh, hello. Oh, it's on a treadmill. <laughs> you aren't Sans. Wait a second. Why were you using a treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen any of my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection, yeah. Sometimes I'm a genius all the time. <laughs> God damn it. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. The truth is that you got oh nerd. <laughs> what? It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. Are you serious? It is an uncovered pillow. It is a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird greasy ball. That's gross. It's a lamp. Turn it on. Yeah, there's no light bulb. The flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. Turn it on. Yes. The battery. The flashlight's out of batteries. It's Sans' dirty sock pals. Scandalous? <laughs> oh, a letter? It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Inside the drawer is a silver key you put on your keychain. Oh. Okay. I got another key. I don't know where that goes. Is that to this? Because I don't think we ever unlocked this. Hello, that's not my house. That's just my 
cool tool shed. Do you call it your cool shed? <laughs> no, I've never thought of that. That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed-based puns. That's the only one I've ever made, dude. <laughs> you unlocked the door and entered. Oh! There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. You look in the drawer, there's some kind of badge. Blueprints. You can't read them with the symbols that are written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Okay. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. So that's all I get to know? That's it? Okay, so I assume that was the last place then. Back up to the castle. I go. Cool. <laughs> Finally here. The throne room. Oh, God. This is the end pretty much then. Wait, what's over here though? Sorry, I like exploring. But that... I guess Sans is like a time machine because uh, Papyrus even said, oh, has he been pranking you through space and time again? It's a coffin. There's a named engrave on it. Jeremy, it's empty. No, no, <laughs> that's supposed to be my soul. <laughs> I'm not letting them kill me. That's for sure. But I'm also not going to kill him. There has to be a way. Oh, it's Toriel's dad, isn't it? Is it? Dum-dee-dum. -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. It's Toriel's dad. Howdy. How can I... Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> but you know how it is. Oh, okay, bye. Or hi. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Okay. Guess that's a good, good day to play catch. Dot, dot, dot. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Okay, he does seem like a very friendly guy. It's a throne! Good. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Why is it covered by a white sheet? Throne room. Okay. I swear that's like Legend of Zelda. Isn't that? That's pretty close to... How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Is that where I fell? That's where I fell. Wait, so seriously? Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Wait, am I going to Toriel's room? That's where I fell in the beginning, so I could have just went back. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Fuck, I don't know. Is there something else I need to do? Oh, no. We're just going to do it. Hey there, bub. Okay, yeah, I understand. It's the barrier. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? Ready. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, I knew that you were going to be a badass. Well, I guess I'm dead. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh, sh Oh, there's no mercy. Act. Talk. Quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Okay. okay. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, can we just talk it out? His breathing gets funny for a moment. Okay. Yeah, you're really good. You're really good, Asgore. Yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Asgore, uh, talk. Firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. 
Recollection flashes in his eyes. Escort's attack drops and his defense dropped. Oh, you probably should not be in the part that's telling me to get the fuck out of this. That is a bitch. <laughs> uh, hey, let's talk it out. Seems talking won't do any more good. What? No, no, no. What is that? What? Oh, what the fuck? How was I supposed to like, Oh, it tells me the blue orange. Orange was supposed to be moving. Blue wasn't right. Okay. Seems talking to won't do any more good. Are you kidding me right now? I'm not gonna kill him. There has to be another way. Okay, sorry. I'll fight you. Maybe if I fake fight him. Maybe if I fake fight him, will that work? Huh? Yeah, fake fight him. What did I do? Give him a book to read? What the hell was that? I've tried quite a lot of times now. I definitely need to go get some Temi armor. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the the last area where I fight Froggets and Whimsalots a lot. Whimsalots a lot. Uh, and then I'm gonna stack up 100 gold each time. I'm just gonna fight them over and over again. Until I can get, what was it, 2,800 gold? I don't even care. I'm going to just wait. I'm just going to try and get it. And I'm going to get that Temi armor. So I'm back to the Tem shop. And of course, of course the Temi armor is only 1,000 gold. How could I forget that? I don't know. But I got the Temi armor. I can buy it again. No, I don't want to buy it again. <laughs> but okay. Now I got Temi armor. I'm also going to go buy some, uh... You donned the Temi armor. <laughs> Great. I'm also going to go to another shop, which I think was in a Snowden. And I'm just going to get a bunch of like, a bunch of shit to heal me. I just filled my in inventory with cinnamon buns, which heals 22 HP, which I think I only have 20 anyway, so that doesn't even matter. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully that will be enough to defeat Asgore. I mean, I pretty much survived the whole, like half of his health for the fight. So... I mean, eight cinnamon buns, that's going to be pretty easy to defeat him, hopefully. It's only taken me an hour to get back here, by the way. To get the Temi armor, to, to grind, to go get cinnamon buns. Yeah, I know this is, what, this is the barrier. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let's continue. This is it, then. Yep, come on. Hurry it up, bro. Hurry it up. Let's fight. Read a book, bitch. You like Harry Potter, bitch? You want to choose your own adventure book, bitch? There you go. There you go. There he goes. Oh, shit. I should be paying attention. What about Lemony Snicket? You like a series of unfortunate events? That was unfortunate. I just smacked you across the face. Go, dog, go. You like that? You like go, dog, go. I could tell. You like Moby Dick? Yeah, he likes Moby Dick. Do I actually have to kill him? Nothing has come up yet. I imagine once I got him, like, half health, something would happen, but nothing has happened yet. Asgore has low HP. Can I talk to him now? Talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. So I just wasted that turn. Yeah, I know he has low HP. Thanks for the tip. I could tell. Something happened. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. Can't they just, like, step through together? Technically, that's two souls going through in one. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hope returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. That's his wife? Toriel's his wife? She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope, but I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. Triple dot. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take the best care of you, take care of you the best as we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. Toriel was his wife! We could be like, like a family. Ah. Oh no, Flowey! Did Flowey seriously just kill him? No way. No way. N 
You idiot! You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh, what a bitch. Oh, hell no. Are you serious? Game's gone. Game's gone. Game's gone. What happened? What happened? Game shot down. Uh-oh.